So you know what it is, my kid back again with another one. Yo, any new viewers, please subscribe. Man, I ain't done one of these videos in a cool minute, man. Obviously, I've been busy, you know, with, you know, giving y'all footage, but I'm back. You know, for today, I got some time on my hands to, you know, give y'all this video. But y'all see the title, man. Um, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez just defeated McWilliams Arroyo. Obviously, these two guys are flyweights. Obviously, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard about, let me take these headphones off, have heard about um, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, you know, WBC flyweight champ. I think tonight he will um, improve to um, what 45 and over 38 knockouts. Um, obviously, I've been, just, I've been hearing about Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez for about the last six or seven months. Obviously, he's a flyweight, like I said, 100 and I think 12 pounds. I don't know if y'all can see me. 112 pounds. Ooh, that's terrible. 112 pounds, WBC champ. Um, you know, Mac Williams Arroyo, a guy, you know, who hasn't fought in about a year, you know, took on uh, Roman Gonzalez tonight after, you know, being off a year and was able to go, you know, 12 rounds with him. That says a lot about a fighter. Um, now, I'm pretty sure a lot. Now, this is my first time actually seeing Roman Gonzalez fight, and I mean... I mean, I don't see anything special in, you know, Roman, you know, Chocolatito. I don't see anything special. I don't see any God given tally. Just a guy, he just, you know, he going there. You know, he just, you know, he work. That's all I basically see from him. He work. He hurt guys. You know, guys, he fight. It seems like they don't stay on their pivot. You know, Roman Gonzalez get to reach in the Russian punches. You know, and they walking straight back. As opposed to, you know, walking back. If he rushing in, you pivot back. You know, you count him with a shot. You pivot and count him with a shot. A lot of guys wouldn't pivot and they just, you know, he rush in, they throw their hands up and they walking back. And if, you know, he walking back and he rushing at you with shots, he could possibly catch you off balance and, you know, knock you down. So, um, you know, McWilliams Arroyo, he wasn't on his pivot. I've probably seen him on his pivot maybe one time in the last round. He was able to, you know, you know, turn Chocolatito a couple times, you know, get duck on a couple shots and turn him. But, I mean, he was a guy tonight, man, that was pretty much, um, he wasn't on his pivot. That's why he was getting hit with a lot of shots. One thing I can say about um, you know, Chocolatito, he has a great, great uh, conditioning and stamina. I think he threw maybe like some, I don't know, eleven hundred punches. He threw a hell of a lot of punches, a lot. So he has great and uh, you know, good stamina and conditioning. But I mean, like I said, Roman Gonzalez, Chocolatito. I don't have anything to bad say about him. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna say well, you're a hater. You don't know boxing. I mean, look at him. Look at the way he fight. Y'all see anything special in Chocolatito? Let me know. Anything, you know, God gifted? Let me know. I didn't see anything, any God given talent in Chocolatito. Like I say, he just going there and he worked. Now, obviously, um, Max Kellerman said during the fight that, you know, Chocolatito was, um, I think, trained, um, or I think Alexis Aguayo pretty much taught him how to fight. And that's what I, you know, seen in him after watching him fight. I see, like, you know, Alexis Aguayo and Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. I'm not, not to say anything bad about them guys, but I'm just saying, like, those guys don't have any God-gifted talent. Like I said, they's going in, they work, and they punch, and they hurt guys, and they give a bad. That's pretty much, you know, all I see from Chocolatito. Not to, like, now, it's easy for me to, you know, to sit back and say, you know, it's easy for me to sit back and say this, but I'm pretty sure you step in the ring with him, it'd probably be something different. But, you know, just watching him fight, you see, he threw 1,132 punches and landed, um, I don't know, he landed a lot. But, yeah, man, I mean, I didn't see anything special in Chocolatito, man. Not to, you know, take anything away from his win, but, I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't nothing special. It's just, you know, like I said, he just go in there, he just work, and he had to work this guy tonight, a guy that been off a year. Not to take anything away from Chocolatito, but, you know, nothing special, but obviously he got the win tonight, so he's 45 and over 38 knockouts. And, I mean, he's a WBC flyweight champ, so, I mean, you can't take nothing away from him, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you, some of you guys can probably argue that, you know, Chocolatito hasn't been, you know, fighting top-level guys. But, I mean, what can you say, man? He's a WBC champ. Those are the guys in his division, and he's beating everybody they put in front of him. So, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, like I said, man, Chocolatito, he has great conditioning, great stamina. He's going there. He just work, man. And, you know, he got, you know, pretty good power. And, you know, he's champ. So, y'all let me know what y'all thought of this fight tonight. Chocolatito versus uh, Mac Williams Arroyo. Two flyweights, Chocolatito still undefeated, 45-0. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of the fight, and holler at me.